Hey guys, we got something cool today. So this kitten came in and look at his nose. We think he has a warble or a cuterebra in there. So we're gonna see if we can get it out. So, you know, I've heard about these things rupturing and causing some pretty nasty reactions. And so if it ruptured his nose, obviously, I think it probably, as big as it was, would have occluded and, and not been good. Um, you know, the, always hopes hopes that it would have dropped out, but it was such a tight fit. I, I don't know how that would have dropped out on its own. And so I think if the kitten hadn't came, it would have eventually probably been the reason why I died. I have a great client that is a foster for a rescue that I work with. And so she texted me a picture of this kitten and she was like, what do you think's going on with this? And can you fix it? And I started salivating. I was like, woo, <laughs> it looks like a cuterebra. And I was like, where is it? And she was like, it's three hours from here. And I was like, go get it and bring it to me. I need to have it. And, um, and so she said it had been on antibiotics for three weeks. It was only getting worse, not better. And all, all day long, it was like, woo, it's waiting for Christmas. We were so excited. And finally it got here and you could see it breathing. We sedated it mildly with a little propofol. She's getting no sleepy. <laughs> You're even cuter now. Everybody came because we have this saying at, at work, and if there's something cool in treatment, we say cupcakes and treatments, so everybody comes. <laughs> and so there were a lot of people there, and they all wanted to see it. And there were two vet students that were there for the day. We pulled that puppy out of there and was, I mean, it was hi the highlight of the day, maybe the highlight of the year, because we were so excited. That's huge. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and the squeaking noise, like that was my favorite part. I don't know if people noticed that, but it, it went. Oh, oh, oh look at Steven. All of us jumped and squealed and some of us were disgusted. But most of us were excited. It felt good to help the baby and to see the worm. <laughs> so that's a cute rebra. It's a bot fly larvae and they like to get in pores and openings. And look at that. Yes, it's moving its butt. Yeah, we need to just burn that. Within two or three days, his nose had went down and looked much more normal. And so um, he's playing, eating, doing great. And so other than stretching out and having to kind of go back small, you know, the inflammation and stuff, I, I think it'll be fun. He might have a little bit of a sinus problem for the next few weeks to months. The foster that I talked about still has him. And she has multiple kittens and she talks about how great he is and how sweet he is. And so it's going to have to be a special home. And so I've had a lot of people ask about him and several of the people we work with. Um, are interested in him, so we'll see. Actually, we put it in a formalin jar and it's sitting out on our desk um, because it was so exciting. So we have it in a collection and we'll show the Girl Scouts when they come by so we can show them what we pulled out of a kitten's nose.